السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے وی آر ٹرائنگ ٹو میک آور ٹنگ اوے فرام سینگ ابیوسو سیکشول اور انڈیسینٹ ٹاکنگ سو اے پرسن ہو ہیز ہیبٹ آف انڈیسینٹ ٹاکنگ دیٹ پرسن ول ناٹ ہیو entry to paradise this is from hadith and in one, in other hadith it comes <coughs> that the people whose uh, tongue is used to say abusive talking sexual talking or uh, indecent talking those people those people will enter into the hell and from their mouth the stingy smell comes out and that smell was smell will be so much uh, persistent so much uh, terrible and uh, so much pungent smell that will make the people of the hell too much uh, in trouble <coughs> and then the people of the hell they will request and ask about those people who are these people from where this type of pungent smell is coming from their mouth and then it will be said to them that these are the people who were to use their tongue in indecent abusive talking in the world so that is very important that we have if we have habit of these type of talking we have to do tauba astaghfar and don't use our tongue to say any type of indecent sexual or abusive talking so because the person who will use indecent abusive or sexual talking at the day of judgment the face of that person will be like a dog and uh, this abusive talking is also a habit of hypocrites munafiqeen because it comes in the signs of hypocrites that a person who is using abusive talking in his conversation that person is also hypocrite this is the fourth sign of hypocrite so be careful that abusive talking is the sign of hypocrites munafiqeen similarly some people they try to use the sexual stories novels drama movies uh, theater club and then others dancing and other celebrations and uh, some type of uh, gathering where the alcohol and some other things are uh, offered and presented and they have to entertain through the things which are completely out of sharia and they are getting it and uh, using it uh, so they are trying to go out of the boundary of islam and this type of habit is very bad and the people who are involved in it will have to suffer its consequences when their eyes will be closed and they will die in the grave they will follow the consequences of it and at the day of judgment they will suffer the punishment of it 
This way we have seen that some children, especially boys and girls, they, they are to look at the special type of pornography on their mobile and, uh, and they have to chart the other people in some uh, some uh, some type of uh, fashions and traditions and pict pictorial situation which is out of Islam and they enjoy with that and then they are talking and they are writing messages so those are completely out of Islam and they think that we are doing the good work and mostly they say we have so many friends and they have so many friends and what is the behavior of those people with the friends and what type of conversation they do with them and what type of messages they exchange with them and uh, so if you look you will find they will reflect the sexual and uh, and uh, like uh, other type of uh, you know some sin sinful habit we can say these are so these uh, type of things uh, even in islam if you are wasting time like wasting time is like when you are playing uh, video games or computer games or uh, you are playing any type of games even you are wasting your time so wasting time is not allowed in islam entertainment in islam is not this one which will uh, take your time and you will not get off it if you are getting something from that which is like exertion like of your body exercise your muscles are becoming strong your body is becoming like more strong so then is exercise running or some uh, type of exercise that type of sport is different thing but if you are sitting in your home or sitting in your room and playing your uh, computer or video games or uh, or you have your own phone you are playing games on that one or ipad or a tablet or uh, some type of uh, play stations so these are the things which are taking your life away from you it means you are you are buying something which is wasteful in exchange of your precious lifetime that you got one time because we got life one time we will not get again if we die we will not be alive again in this world so this way we got life in this world one time so our life moments every second and minute is very very costly precious and important for us and the reward of that what we will do in that time we will get the reward of that in the day of judgment and on the basis of these rewards we will get paradise or hell so if we are wasting our time in playing games or different type of entertainments or making friends on our facebook and our uh, uh, you know mobile and uh, other devices automatically we are wasting our life and moments which were precious and, and costly for us we are wasting those one and at the day of uh, judgment we will get uh, no benefit but uh, we will get the punishment in forms of hell. So this way we have to look after ourselves because there will be a question that we are have you spent your life. Life means the moments. The life is the biggest unit and the minimum unit of that is second 
second, minute, hours. So this way, when Allah's angels will ask, where have you spent your life in the world? So which activities have you done there in during your lifetime? And if you will say, I spend my life in playing games, entertainments, and making friends, and reading fiction books, and uh, watching movies and uh, and uh, attending uh, with our friends uh, to go into cinemas and uh, club and theater and joining the uh, dancing clubs and uh, the other uh, gathering where alcohol wa alcohol and other intoxicants were served and we have used those one then what will happen Will you be in a position to get good reward there? If you are not to say anything, the angels there, at the day of judgment, they will show you your deeds. Those will be written in the book. The deed book, you will see whatever you have done in your life and how much time you spent on those wasteful activities. So you will see there and then you will cry, but you will have no chance to come back in this world again and do something good and you will have no chance at all there. So this is the chance now. Okay, remove all the wasteful activities and make your life better. The time you have now, don't use in entertainment. This is time of fitna. Love learning Holy Quran and Sunnah of Prophet and learn Islam completely and fully understand the rights and responsibilities and follow those one every time and use your body parts to do everything what Allah and Prophet like and then make your life better so that you can get the good reward there so this way be careful from your tongue and uh, I told you some people they are like husband and wife and the husband tells the stories with his wife to the friends this is other sinful act and similarly the wife expresses her emotions what she has done with her husband express that one with her friends and that is other sinful act. So if they will use this one, then automatically punishment will be ready for them when they will close their eyes. Because according to Surah Bakra ayat number triple two, husband and wife they are the dress of each other. So it means like dress, it covers all of your body parts, husband and wife. They are just to cover, cover all the drawbacks and defects and all those things which are hidden in husband or in wife. They have to hide those one, not to express to other people because they are like a dress. But if they are just to tear that one, so tearing the dress is tearing the ayat of Holy Quran. So it means they are doing the act of disobedience of Allah's wording, the Holy Quran. This way, then they will have to suffer the consequences of that. So similarly, you can see in one hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu said that uh, you don't abuse the other parents. If you abuse the other parents, that abuse will come to your own parents and you will be under curse of Allah, then you will have a trouble. This way, you try not to say anything bad to the parents of other person. Respect them and you will get respect also. This is very, very important. Even in Islam, it is like, for example, if someone 
from the male or female member of Muslim, if they have any sexual disease, when they go to the doctor, they have to express that disease not in filthy words, not in sexual lusty words, but they have to say that one in respectable words in which they can convey the message what was the disease they will tell about that but the wording must be respectful good so those should not be bad so this is very important because indecent words will take you to the hell so be careful this is the time for us we have to respect Islam looking after the boundaries of Islam and looking after our acts and deeds every time so that we should get the pleasures of Allah and Prophet Sallallahu in this love in this world and the world hereafter Allah give us tawfiq. Amen.